Hey guys, this is Ben Mop XYZ here, and today we have a freaky person staring in my face. Okay, no. Um, today we have a Star Made video, and before I get started, as usual, uh, I'd like to just say you guys subscribing and commenting and sharing and liking and everything in the world, um, do doing that to my videos and my channel really helps. It motivates me to make more awesome videos example this one and without further ado let's get started so we are playing a game called star made it's kind of like minecraft in space on steroids like yeah it's basically just that um but then yeah there's lots and lots of stuff like that, that minecraft does not have so so let's get started so the first thing that minecraft does not have is ships so what you're going to do is so I is to open your inventory so that's how you, to open your inventory then you got um ship core you're going to press x to create a ship so I'm going to call mine starbound 1 but uh, no uh, starbound 1 so it's called starbound 1 so now I've got a little ship core thingy here so then you you're gonna want to press R, get into the ship core. Um, and an important thing is that you spawn in sector zero zero zero. So that will come in later in a couple of things. So, so I'm just gonna go um, press Control when we're in build mode. When I press R on my ship, it goes into build mode automatically the first time you go into your ship. Then you press so you press hold Control. And there's a bunch of like options come up on the side here. So you can like place multiple blocks at a time like that. Like look, there's like tons of blocks at a time. You can place like so many blocks it's like, it's like unbelievable. You can place ten by ten by ten, which is like a thousand blocks at a time. So that's crazy. Um you can also place one by one by one and all of the things in between that. Um it I'm pretty sure it used to go up to thirty each, so that would be like thirty thousand. I mean Wait, no, that would be like 3,000, I think. But then we've got like these things down here, which are like p symmetry plane. So I usually do this. So you press set and then you click on the block you want to set it on. So you could set it here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to unset that. So I'm going to set it in the middle of my ship like that. Now, if I place, say, a power block here, now, in another power block there, it duplicates that on the other side. So, first of all, what I'm going to do on my ship is, so what you do is, if you want to switch to wedges, corners, heptas, anything like that, uh, tetras, all that, you just go again, so I'm going to use wedge, you go again, to press control, then you can just click the arrows or scroll to change where, like, which way the block is placed. So I'm going to say like that, and then it's like symmetry plane there. So I'm just going to go like this, then that, then this, then, then that again. So now I've got a good thing going there. So I'm just gonna go backwards a little bit now. So if you're wondering who that guy is, I'll, I'll talk. Um, I'll show. You, I'll show you in a minute. So he's like, well, actually, I'll tell you now. He's like the guy, like the shop dude, who's like the owner of the shop. So you can like talk to him. You can get crew members from him. You can get tons of stuff like that. Um, he's from a faction called the Trading Guild. He's they're, they're in every single world, the trading guild, they're in every single world. They, um, they own a lot of the shops. You can create your own shop, so that's the exception there. You can create your own shop. So that's why I said they, you, they own most of, the, a lot of the shops, not 
all of them. So these big grand shops are the trading guild shops. So they're pretty interestingly designed. They're nice looking. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on and like that. Now I'm, I'm going to put the, this is where some of the pretty cool stuff comes into. Now I'm going to put like a corner a tetra thing here. So now that's like that. Now what I could do is if I wanted to is if I could I could put a symmetry plane so what I put on the top of the ship comes on the bottom of the ship but I'm not going to do that because it's going to be something that I'm not I'm going to put on the top of the ship but I'm not going to put on the bottom and um, vice versa. So I'm just going to place go ahead and place a couple of these here. They're duplicating on each side. I'm just going to place more. And another one here. Now I'm going to place... See, it's looking pretty interesting now. So now I'm going to place these. Now I'm going to press B. Since we're near a shop, we can do this. So you can press B, and you're near a shop, it'll come up with this. So it says, own credits that much. Okay, so now I'm going to go general. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here you can get, but then I'm going to click on light, cube, white light, or maybe I'll do the, um, you know, I actually might do, uh, the rod ones. Yeah, the, wait, well, what's the other option? Bars. They look interesting. I was, I was just, whoa. Okay, that's interesting. There's a bunch of massive ships just flew back there, so I was, like, if you didn't see that, I'll just play it again. Like, there's a bunch of massive ships just, like, pass by there. It's, like, crazy. So now I'm just gonna place a couple of these. So we got the, uh, so I'm gonna press I. We've got these six light bars. It's gonna be interesting to see what they look like. I actually haven't tested these out yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it like that. Ah, oh, they're interesting. They're cool. I'm gonna place a couple more of those once I get my ship a little bit more advanced. In its building stages. Okay, that's looking good. Those were helpful, so I'm just gonna go build a bit here. There. So, so now I'm gonna go up here. Place these. Um, I might put this into a bit of time lapse. I was thinking of doing that, except then I thought there might be some things that you guys want to know, so I'll just, I won't do that. I know it might be a bit slow, but it's worth it. So I'm just going to grab a hep, no, it's like, a, it's a hepta this time. Place it there. Now another tetra, which I have put away in my inventory, so I'm just going to grab that again. Place it in place of these faction modules quickly. I will be using those in a minute. The faction mod modules, what they do... Uh, actually, I think we need corners for this one. Yeah, we need corners for this. Um, so what the faction modules, basically what they do is stop enemy people from destroying your ship. That's what they do. Literally. I'm not joking. That is what they do. They stop enemies from completely destroying your ship. Or, for that matter, anybody except you. You can destroy your ship if you want, but I doubt you guys want to actually do that. So, I'm just going to actually just go like this and put the wedge here. Now I'm going to actually put a... Uh, actually, I'm going to put a full block there. That might help. Um, Actually, I think we might need... Yeah, we need another hepta here. Like that. Yeah, okay, there we go, there we go. 
Now I got it. Like that. Yep, like that. Now, these. So it's pretty hard to do this. some of this stuff. I've been known to be pretty good at this stuff. So I'm, I'm just going to place a couple of blocks at a time now. Like, I'm going to use that special setting I showed you before. Um, like with the, this thing. So X, I'm going to, I can place a couple of blocks like that at a time. I'm going to make that four for now. So I'm just going to place a bunch of blocks at a time like that. At the top. Like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that on the sides here by going Z. A couple of those. So I just get rid of those extra ones there. I might extend this a bit more in the long run. But for now I'm just going to keep it like that. So by 2 I'm going to put it down so it's going to be at 5. Now that works. Now I'm going to go like that, and I can place a couple of those at a time like that. Uh, now, the problem with that is we need to now put another, I can just break those, yeah. So now I'm going to go into the shop, press B, I'm going to go search up, blast, or you can do, you can do, um, blast doors, so blast doors or you can do plex doors but the blast doors are more durable they they cost a bit though that's the only downside these things cost a bit the blast doors cost a lot more than the plex doors because obviously the plex doors don't have as much armory on them so what you do with these i know they just look like i'm pl blocking up the only entrance no now i can't get in except oh wait i'm in build mode so i can get in like that but if you press r Opens, close, open, close, open, close, like that. So, I'm going to go into my ship. Then I go, I got those. Um, now I'm going to click, I'm going to get grab a couple more of these. These white light bar things. Place it there. More light in our ship. We have two left. So actually, I might place it like this. No. No, 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 no like that. Yeah, like that. So we got now got full lighting in our ship now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and place some th power and thrusters now. So these are two of the most um the most important things in a ship in Starmade. They are like the two most important things in the entire ship building career in Starmate. Not not in real life. Well they probably are, but they are actually. But um now we've got this. So that's our ed exit and entry at the back there. I might make another one. But now I'm gonna place a couple of these. Got those here. Um, um, I know that now X three, X three, like this. Place um, a couple more of those little things. They look kind of like a lot of eyes staring at you, but then they actually, like, there's lots and lots of cool particle effects when you actually use the thrusters. Pretty cool particle effects. So, I'm just gonna go and press Z and I'll be in flight mode, like this. Now I can fly my ship like this, the same controls except space bar is up, shift is to stop, um, and the other ones are like, so E is to, like, turn like this, and Q is to turn the other way, uh, S backwards, W forwards, D this way, and A that way. So, 
Now, what I'm going to do is add some weapon systems into my ship. So I'm going to go go cannon. Actually, no, before I add weapons, I'm going to go, and, like, I know all of you are going, aww, you, wanna, you want me to add weapons straight away so I can destroy everything. No, uh, we need this first. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to take the symmetry plane off. I'm going to click this. Now, is that I'm going to click, okay. Now, it should uh, have this, so if it, so it should have this little, glowy boxy thing here this little flashing orange block it, like thing here um, if it has that it means it's all good so now I'm gonna go ahead and place these um, salvage modules now and they will if um, if it says that if like they have purple boxes around them if the things and that means they're connected to the ca the computer which means that's all good. So <clears throat> that's good if, you, if it says that it's good, which means it's all working. So you can go and salvage stuff. <coughs> um. So I've got this little ship thing here. Oops. Uh, I forgot to put the symmetry plane back on. That's damn. So now I'm going to press remove mode up here. So now it removes two instead of places two. That's something most people don't know about. Okay, now I'm going to place, place the symmetry plane again. Like this. Now I'm going to take it off um, remove mode. You don't want to have it on remove mode when you're trying to place stuff. So it's still got the box around it. Except now it's going to place it on either side, so that's better. Right, I'm just going to just place it normally now like that. Oh, are oh, we going to have enough? Are we going to have enough? Yes, just. We have two left now. So we've got this little ship thing here. So now once we've got that, you're like, how do we shoot it? You just click now because then it'll pop up. If you start adding more stuff, don't just click. You get, if you add some more stuff, press G. It should pop up somewhere. It should say, if you're adding cannons, it should say cannon computer. Drag that down and it should, yeah, then it'll work. So, uh, there's a, this guy over here, so I'm, I'm not going to mine him. There's a bunch of... Um, I'm just going to click N. Uh, I'm going to go over, say, towards, which is the closest, closest planet. So these little circly hexagon things, like circles with hexagons inside them, are the planets. Um, uh, I think I'm going to go to this one looks the closest from here so now while we're heading towards this thing I'm gonna go and we've got all this stuff so if I press I'm sure it's like J or something what's the uh oh never mind um so I'm just gonna press N and if there's any asteroids is which is what we're looking for uh, they should pop up here. There probably will be some asteroids soon. Uh, no, now there's only us. Might have to mine some of the planet. Oh, okay, I know. We're, okay, we're in a different... Okay, this system is neutral, so we can use a faction block to claim it. Oh, there's a planet core. Okay, that's not useful. We know there's a planet here, so... Okay, we're going to enter the atmosphere of this planet soon. We're going to just slow down a little bit. Uh, here we go, here we go. Going into the atmosphere. What?
making we got before. Um, they are just glitching at the moment. They should disappear any minute. are pretty pretty valuable these little things so they're these these are pretty this and this uh pretty valuable they sell for a lot at the shop so as well as buying you can sell stuff so that's how you get more credits uh that's if you're wondering why i didn't just go and buy everything and do everything because I don't didn't have enough credits to do that. I hardly had enough credits to do that. Some individual items cost more credits than I have. So, like for example, jump drives. Like they cost a lot to to get in the store, in the shop, should I say? So, um, got all that now. So, I've got a bit of the that ore now. I've got. Quite a bit there. Um, this sells for like so much in the shop. But what sells for even more is there's a particular rare planet that you can find. And it's um, like this icy planet. And you find this thing called ice crystals. They sell for so much. It's crazy. They sell for a lot in the store. So if you get grab a lot of them, you'll be rich. So we're going to be a little bit rich here. So with all this stuff we're mining. Gonna go in there. We have over a hundred of one of them. Wondering what that weird. Oh, there's lava. There's some lava there. This is like a red planet, but it has like plants on it though. Like all planets, practically all the planets in this game have plants and stuff on them. So it's not like there's no planet with. It's like only like one in a million planets have them. No. Like, every planet has them, but except plants, they aren't very useful. <laughs> Unless you want to decorate your station or something with plants, pop plants or something. So, I might finish up this first episode here after we go to the shop. So, remember I said we started in sector, um, 000? zero, zero, zero? Remember I said that? So, actually, I'm pretty sure we start in sector, um... Is it zero? Yeah, and it's zero, 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 I'm pretty sure. So, zero, space, zero, space, zero. Now, in the waypoint thing. So, you press N to get in here, as I said before, and then you press the waypoint set or load waypoint, then you type in that. Now, it's got the waypoint here. So, I'm going to go over towards this waypoint here. Should be in, like, the opposite direction of the planet. Yes, we are going the right way, because we came from this way. To get to the planet in the first place. So after we sell this stuff, which we have a bit of now, um, I will finish up this episode. Actually, yeah, uh, actually, I'll I'll do it in my own time. I will see you back in the next episode of my Star Made Let's Play series. So there's only really one thing left to say, and that is Ben Mob X Y Z is out. <laughs>